Now, it is these increasing numbers that are putting a strain on hospitals, but that strain is also being felt by first responders who must take drastic measures to ensure safety that there will be someone available to respond to life-threatening emergencies. 17's Christian Galeno in studio now with more on that story. Christian. Well, it is a cause for concern. The idea that law enforcement and emergency services may now have to choose which calls will get a response. The temporary measure hopes to alleviate some of the strain. Well, we saw this coming. The sheriff's office is the second agency in Kern County to limit in-person responses due to the current spread of COVID-19. And that's why we, we've been preparing uh, our response. You know, the deputies are still going to respond. They're still going to take the information over the phone. They don't, if they don't need to contact you personally, they won't contact you because we don't want to infect you, nor do we want you to infect us. Youngblood mentioned an estimated 50 deputies have tested positive. If I lose uh, 50 patrol deputies, you won't get anybody to, to come. So. KCSO follows Delano police who announced the same practice last week. So this is necessary for us to do this so that when you call with a 911 emergency, we have somebody to respond. <laughs> Department of Public Health says emergency services are also feeling the strain, saying high volumes of 911 calls are taxing our entire emergency response system. We urge our residents to use the emergency system responsibly and call 911 only in a true emergency, such as a heart attack, stroke, or other serious health conditions. Meanwhile, Bakersfield police reassured they are not feeling the strain, saying in part, BPD is not limiting the types of calls we are receiving. We are not currently experiencing a staff shortage due to officers contracting COVID. I believe that we're getting close to the end. This, this virus is uh, obviously less lethal. Uh, it's easier transmittable, but if you look at our hist the history of pandemics, this may be the, the right direction that we're going. Now, BPD did not have an exact figure available as to how many of its officers have tested positive. In studio, Christian Galano, 17 News.